process that all humans and animals go through. When we sleep, our body is like doing its maintenance process. It prepares our body for the next day. But how much sleep do we really need? Sleep needs are based on basal sleep need, the amount of sleep our bodies need on a daily basis, and sleep debt, the accumulated hours of lost sleep. The basal sleep need of teenagers is 8 hours. So for example, on day 1, Chris slept for 5 hours. He will have a sleep debt of 3 hours. And if on day 2, he slept for 8 hours, he won't have any sleep debt. But since he still has a sleep debt of 3 hours yesterday, he might feel sleepy later in the afternoon. So, on day 3, Chris must sleep for at least 11 hours for a maximum performance. The dangers of sleep deprivation First, impaired memory. Deep sleep stimulates connections between our brain cells. So if you have an exam the next day, and you did not have enough sleep, your chance of failing is larger than those who did have enough sleep. Second, loss of focus. Sleep-deprived people have more trouble on having focus. Third, microsleep. Microsleep is an episode of light sleep lasting from 5 to 10 seconds, wherein the brain goes to sleep involuntarily while doing a monotonous task. It's also like spacing out. Fourth, mood swings. Lack of sleep results to irritability, impatience, and moodiness. Fifth, it ages you. Sallow skin, puffy eyes, dark circles. You will have these if you won't sleep enough. Last, the health risks. Do you know what might happen to you if you always don't get enough sleep? Hypertension, increased stress hormones, irregular heartbeat, obesity, and worst, death. Well, we cannot always have adequate sleep due to school or personal reasons, but we have a solution to that. Power nap! Power nap can replace your sleep debts. Dr. Sarah Mednick, author of Take a Nap, Change Your Life, stated that naps of different durations have different amazing results. A nap is only for 90 minutes because if you exceed from that, you're already sleeping. 6 to 15 minute naps heighten alertness, concentration, and boosts motor performance. 20 minute naps improve memory recall and trashes unnecessary info in the brain. 30 minute naps have the same effect as 6 to 15 minute naps but cause grogginess upon waking up. 60 minute naps help in memorization but again, a little grogginess. 90 minute naps are the nap that will make you feel best, boost creativity, procedural memory, and memory recall. So, choose a nap that you need and if you have break time in between classes, might as well take a nap. Sleep is one of the best things in the world, right? And will make you become more productive in life. So go ahead and snooze. Sleep well, live well. <laughs>